here we are. Finally. We're playing Dragon's Dogma as I said I would. Pwns. I love this game so much. It's so, like... I don't even know what to, how to say it. It's just so nice. And I... And I... It's such a nice... It's just such a quaint game. Our, we thought to inundate the worm with sheer numbers. A sea of blades. It was a fool's help. As you can see, the voice acting is obviously on point. Everyone sounds so comedically, like, villainous sounding. Or comedically, I guess, British. Hold on. There we go. Alright, you ho. Eat this! <laughs> totally. Oh, rip this guy. It's so, like... 2000s. It's all like late 2000s, early tw 2010s janky, and I fucking love it. Best part about this game, you can sit here and just grab onto it and just lay waste. Just fucking go ham. This snake. Wow. Yeah. I wish there was like a, a, fl a flurry, you know, how, like, remember how, um, in Twilight Princess, Link did like a flourish? Now choose, I want that. Flee or step forth. I mean, take hold of what lies beyond. Claim mastery over the eternal ring. I mean, sure, why not? I'm not much of a ring guy, but I'm more of a bracelet guy, but. It's Grigori falling out of the sky. And then not falling. Alright, that's cool and all, but make your character. Now, we could either make it more of a... I don't know. We could we could do a whole... Uh, I, although I did make a character before when I tried to test this out, and I think it did well. Hold on. I'll, I'll like, cut this part out or some shit. I don't fucking know. Alright, so... This is this is Ozios or Osborne for the monk here. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna have to make a pawn. And I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell am I gonna make him look like. Because depending on who I try to pick, the implications may be bad. Anyways, let's continue on. Like every day the way you only lap in the shrine of your village, and I will never know the rest. up his fucking thing he has some gross ass fucking cyburns i want to cry bro Ugh. i thought that was like the nothing option since i didn't see anything because of this stupid fucking hairdo fuck i have to waltz my ass over to grand soren get my hair cut that's gonna take fucking forever oh brother i'm so fucking stupid it's, it's the dragon God, I look like such a fucking idiot. I almost feel like I'm gonna wanna switch it over. God, this is... I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset, because that's, like, visible now that it's in, like, every fucking shot. That's, like, uber fucking visible. I'm so fucking stupid. Hold on. 
We are... You know what? Fuck you. We're redoing this. Fuck you. We're, we are redoing this entire thing. I am... I'm pissed. I am like uber omega pissed. That sucks. I'm fuck. Fuck this. You know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck this. I'm I'm pausing the recording. I'm coming back when I fix the thing. All right, we're back. I'm the dumbass, and I, for some reason, Ozios had fucking gross ass fucking different colored sideburns. Here's the thing. Even if the sideburns were still there, it would still be just too much time. It takes like a good hour to get the Grand Soren, even if you're speed running it. And I'm not speed running it. I love to take my time. So, of course, you know, dumbass me made a mistake. And now I have to, I had to replay the entire prologue in order to get here. I made him thicker, by the way. And now it's just like, fuck, what do I do now? Well, I had to make him. So, just to confirm, there is no sideburns, and even if there is, even if there might be, I have changed the hair color for the facial hair to be the same color as the hair. So, there should not be any discrepancies for it, that even if there are sideburns, it will at least be of the same hair color, and I'll live with that. Confirm. Get the fuck out. This is a giant fucking lizard. Alright, the question remains while we're doing this, what are we going to do about the vocation? I'm very much worrying about it, because do I start with Strider, or do I do I go the Strider route or the Warrior route? Because I'm probably not going to be a Magic user. I played Magic Knight, like, literally every single time I played Dragon's Dogma, since the first time in, um, however long it was back on the PS3, to doing it again. All right, you fucking lizard. Almost got- I don't know why Grigori chose this one specific person. We're about to get our fucking heart stolen by a goddamn dragon, and it won't be the romantic way. Sure, buddy. Spoonful, bro. Just a spoonful. That's not a spoonful. I thought there used to be subtitles for Gregory in this beginning scene, but I guess not. Because, of course, you would still be conscious when your heart's been ripped out, totally. Oh. No. It's mine. Damn. And then I guess he just fucks off. He doesn't continue to cause chaos. He's a dragon with a specific purpose. And that's the beginning of Dragon's Dogma. You get your heart stolen by a goddamn dragon. But unlike most times when your heart gets ripped out of your chest, you still live. You did indeed. Take up arms. Sign for you to begin draining has arisen, but before you can win your heart back from the dragon, you'll need to prepare. How you doing? What? Why is this happening? I don't know, man. Hey, bud. Oh, the horror. The horror of it. You good? Alright, let's see. Alright, here we are. The fun begins soon right now we have we got to pick a vocation so fighter strider okay fighter or strider i'm not doing mage here's the thing being one kind of determines what i do with my pawn because i'm probably going to make a mage pawn because i need a healer or at least the magic ability but i mean fighter fighter was pretty cool in the intro right you know Blink Strike, the, um, fucking Stinger. Literally, it's literally Stinger. Literally Dante. I mean, it is, this is a Capcom game, so 
it makes sense that they'd be like, why fix what isn't broke? But Strider's also very fun. Strider's like uber amounts of fun. But Fighter, though, I guess it really depends on what it is you want later on. Because then there's Warrior, which is kind of fun if you get the hang of it. And just going big fuck you damage does sound like a fun time. But Strider, Strider is okay for me personally. Strider is fun. And Ranger is kind of meh since it focuses more on the bow and the bow is kind of meh. So I'd probably end up becoming Assassin or Magic Archer. So let's go Fighter and see how we do. Sword and Shield. This little quaint ass town. Progress to the game between quests. I talk to people you meet. They'll surely have all for you to do. People bearing an icon for their hopes of special information. Though bearing those bearing green icons have new quests to offer. God, I love the I have this. I don't know if this work table is even worth it. I have the Casardis theme as my wake up tune. I don't do combinations. I don't think I've seen a single Dragon's Dogma person be like, yeah, combinations. Can Beast burn the whole world up way I see it? Save someone can stop him. It's gotta be tough. You know. Living in this type of world. Shit's gotta be rough. I mean, since it's already a medieval thing, it's like, okay. So, generally, it's never a fun time. This game is fun. I like it. I like it because it's not anything too extravagant. It's a ba it's it's a pretty basic thing. Purchase equipment, use finds from shops, or wandering merchants you encounter in travels. Interesting. Hmm, mm hmm, I see. It's, it's a fun game, just because there's nothing too complicated about it. It's a game where you play as a guy who is, or guy or gal, who has had their heart stolen by a goddamn dragon. And so now you go off in order to get your heart. God damn it, soaked to the bone. This is such a basic game. It's so d obviously dated, but I love it for that. Raise your fan of people by giving them items or completing the quest they ask of you. Performing actions that people dislike will decrease their affinity for you. That makes sense. The affinity system is not well explained. That's it. That's literally that little pop-up is all that they will say about your affinity. You will not get anything else. You will not get any sort of other bullshit saying about how much someone's affinity is, how much or how little. You will get none of that. You will have a general idea based off of like the fucking some bullshit around their face. That's literally all that you will have. It's kind of dumb. That they don't explain it more often. Alright, so. Notice boards are interesting. Because they tell you what the quests are within the moment that you take them. So the problem here, right? Is that you have one main quest and a bunch of side quests that you can do. Certain side quests are structured side quests that are integral to a certain character or area of their own personal story. You have no ways of knowing this, by the way. You have no ways of knowing this unless you look it up. Or unless you've played it before. So, and here's the fucking fun part. You kind of have to take everything if you have no clue. Or if you just want to do all the quests. You have to like look at back at this notice board on the regular. Just to make sure that you are not forgetting anything. Now, admittedly, it doesn't sound too bad because these at the moment aren't bad thing is slay rabbits and mice that shit's fucking insanely difficult guess what i'm a fucking warrior i have no easy way of doing this there's at least some interesting shit about the, these quest boards problem here is there's no good music i'm gonna have to look up some medieval music to go with to put it in the background of these fucking quests you can look pretty fucking stupid in this game. 
I already got the fucking cod piece. That's how you already know that this game is what it is. speaking with. He's of the Prawn Legion. They come from some unknown place, just appear without a warning. They're a strange lot. Not human, quite. They look the part, sure enough, but they lack the will, the spark what drives us. So what the fuck are they? Another thing that they have to sit there and un that, we that they have to talk about in Dragon's Logma 2. Pawns better be well better explained. They have no capacity to feel nor act alone, so they live as cell sorts. Myrmidons, they're called. Hmm. There's an encampment west of the village where men gather to face the dragon. I'd wager a fair number of his kind will be there as well. Yeah. Why don't you take him? Might be you learn out of why he came to you in the first place. This is my comfort game, honestly. Not a single other thing that I care about other than this game. This game is just so much fun. If you told me I was like... If you told me that this was this and like one other game was your only few games you could ever play anymore, I'd be like, alright, easy. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma, and I think probably Team Fortress 2. Since that shit's limitless. It gets really fucking dark at night, who would've thought? That's why lanterns are the one thing that yeah, I gotta take with you. The main selling point of this game is at the dark, at the dark, in the dark, more Do different types of monsters it. come up. Like, look at this. this path should see us there. You can't see shit. I can barely see shit. I only know where I'm going based off of the minimap and general knowledge. If we hope to search by night. Exactly as Rook says. I'd rather travel by day because it looks way better. I mean, I can barely see shit, and I'm sure y'all are having a not great time. If memory serves, I know the way, Master. Follow me. Must be near. Boy, Rook is fucking going at it. And here we are with the first rift stone that we can actually interact with. Oh, there's goblins and a Cyclops, huh? Oof. That guy didn't see that shit coming. Alright. Let's rock. Fuck out of here. Oh, 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 that was fucking oof. Ay, yeah, yeah. Hey, I, guys, I totally did it. I totally did it. I wasn't stuck on a fence for like a good ten seconds. Ay ay ay. Oh boy. This fucking scraggly ass motherfucker. Let us return to the encampment. I'll just take everything here. Don't mind me. Impasse, I'll progress through another. Yeah, and then you gotta make sure you know which 
quests are the ones that actually progress the story and which ones are ones that will Shall we search the area? not do that. Oh, Mercedes. Oh, best, best, best girl. Ought to say so? Hello. Now, I bid you select a companion for the journey ahead. Oh, boy. They shall serve you and you alone to share in your hardships and aid you in every endeavor. All right, so here's the comes the fun part. We have a permanent pawn. Yep. Sensation. Throw out your transfers and your main pawn. This is going to be the fun part. Who are we doing when it comes to our pawn? I guess I could try and do something involving my character since I already made Ozios. I can make Ramina as fucking difficult as that's going to be. Um... Pawn's shroom name. Ramina. I think. It depends on if I can even make. Oh. Enter. Monk here. Um. Is there a Ramina or something similar? Maybe. A, a Raiden. No. A Repu. Ray. Remina, Ray? Sure. Um. She's definitely gonna be taller. I have no clue, and I don't think it matters. question here is what are we doing with pawns you know what I'm not sure if I want to make it super accurate because ideally the pawns gonna be a strider because she her whole thing is with knives but I don't know if I want to have a strider and a fighter main um, arisen hold on I gotta do some some uh, research real quick I'll be right back all right we're back so change plans Fealty is sworn to you, Arisen. From this day, the Legion's men call pawns live and die by your command. And I look like a fucking dipshit with what I got on. Hello, Mercedes. I am Mercedes. I lead the men of the Enlistment Corps. I've heard talk of the Arisen. They say you hold dominion over the pawns. Yeah. I've ordered pawns to take up swords and fight myself. But they are a clumsy lot. I cannot call them into this world as you do, though, nor make traveling companions of them. What manner of magic lets you command them so? If I knew, I'd tell you. Well, it matters not. The dragon is come. I'll welcome any help. Be it pawn, arisen, farmer, or fishwife. Make use of the encampment as you please. Are you in need of rest? Um. Uh, not now. Well, will you rest? Yeah. As you will. Repose is the better part of readiness. I told you, rest. Nothing bad will happen. Choice. I got a ma I got a mash. I'm the best wiggler. I 
Gotcha. That's it. I'm getting up there. Oh. Ooh, ah. Oh shit. I never seen it do this. Oh wait, I think I did. Oh shit. Ah. Come on. Hey, buddy. I got one. Whoa. Me and Wiskin are both hurting. <laughs> Saw me do it. Ancient tales of the Arisen are well and good for it. But make a gift of these heads to the Duke. And you might earn yourself a real title. For a reason. I see better now from whence the legends arose. Good judgment, swift footwork. Impressive, truly. In any case. The Duke will want to know of this attack. Of course. I'd hoped to gather a larger force before leaving for the capital. But the Hydra's head and the Orison who claimed it make up the difference amply. I cannot say what the past may hold. You will need your strength. It will be slow going with a cart. I dare say you will have no trouble catching up. We'll meet at the Way Castle. Till then, I bid you rest well. It is a long road ahead. Indeed. That terrible creature. I saw it from my spot at the post. What was it? It's been dispatched then? Hey, Alvar. The maker. Uh, hold a moment. Is Kino not with you? No. She was said to leave the village in search of art for your wounds. I thought you accompanied her. These are dark times for a girl alone in the wilds. Any idea where she might be off to? You. What? You. The chief worries after Kina as well. I pray she wouldn't attempt the forest alone. Another beast such as that Hydra were to appear. I don't know why she would. Oh, there he goes. I don't know why she would do that. I mean, I get it, it's for me, but at the same time. There may be materials here. Perhaps we'll find aught of use. How odd. Like, you would throw yourself into the pit of danger without telling anybody for the reasons of saving somebody, and yet you're going to p perish yourself if you're not careful. The rocks here may hold all. Goblin! Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. Hold, Minor. I'd have your ear a moment. It's been a full sun since last I saw Kina. She spoke of the Witchwood to find a cure for your wound. If she's gone there for true, I beg of you, find Kina and see her back safely, ere some ill befalls her. I'm now, here's the thing. You can have this quest... When you are, as you can see, at level 7 to 6 to 7, that is fucking crazy. If we're to proceed, we have no choice but to jump. Saurians. It's a giant lizard! Look, there are footballs. Don't be able to... I've not thought to find Saurians here. Keep the lantern dry. Ah! 
Oh. Oh. I'm out of my element. Against unlocked. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. That was not smart of me. Ooh, I am poisoned. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Oh, come on, I'm getting, I'm getting stun locked again. Come on. Fuck off. Slay them one by one. Yeah. Please, help me. Can't fucking see. Fucking annoying. Holy shit. Lost and found is like I think that's one of the like most notorious trap this quests that there is. Because the they say, oh, it's like right at your fucking level. They they right at level six to seven. And they say, go to the Witchwood. These enemies, these bandits, are fucking insane. First of all, they're goddamn crazy. Oh boy, yeah, this is her escort quest. Fucking goddamn. Sorry, what? Oi, good Fisher. I have a favor to ask if you have the time to listen. Yeah. It is a matter of warding the village from crime. I would ask your help. Sure. I, I knew I could rely on you. Truth be told, a crime has already come. A thief, cousin. Come. He strikes the same spots each time. Aroldo's grocery and Estella's apothecary have suffered, as I have. 
The rat steals in the night and pinches the food and vital stores we've gathered for times of need. A skilled wretch, too, and well crafty. There is a strict order to his thieving. I've spoken with the others, and we've agreed upon a plan to catch our rat. Yeah. They are none too pleased at this violation and eager to be quit of it. Best you go and speak with them. Come and find me after. I will explain the plan. Sure. This is an interesting little quest. I like it. How's the day find you? So ready are you? Then I'll explain. He's fierce and fleet of foot, dashing about the village as he goes about his business. When the thief arrives, you'll give chase, good fisher. And we'll have those pawns of yours keep watch outside the village. With luck, you'll catch him with ease, and before he can pinch any more of our wares. Well, questions, cousin? Come with your preparations, good fisher? I was ready. Then we wait. Our plan begins with night's fall. I shall go stand watch elsewhere. You head that way, good fisher. You got it. It is time. I have faith in you, cousin. And why not? As a risen, petty thieves are a simple quarry, oh, aren't back. Let's rock. Alright, you son of a bitch. You're lucky I have unlimited fucking stamina. No, you're unlucky that Dirty I have. Bastard. Okay. Donkey bastard. Can I like kill him? <sighs> Got him. Me. <laughs> Got him. I keep forgetting you can just blink strike. Just as planned. Wiscom was loving that. It was fine work last night, good Fisher. What's more, the rat you caught has a loose tongue. He spoke of the company he keeps. Band of thieves that style themselves the Iron Hammer. They've taken a stronghold in the south of their home. Seems they eat well on the goods they pinch from the merchants walking the nearby roads. If you cause to head south, pray keep watch for their ilk. You got it. There's no doubt then. Kine is gone to the Witchwood. Maybe she's gone to the Witchwood. I'm not so sure though. The game is surprisingly quiet. I might just raise the volume up even more. Hold on. Here's the problem, right? This lost and found you'd need to do before a certain point. And I don't know what that certain point is. I want to be able to get the uh, Eternal Fairy Stone from the shop. I think it's like only like a few thousand gold, which I think I have. And yeah, if I can get that, then I can easily go to the Witchwood. No matter how many tries it takes, I'll... Head on for it. I look like such a fucking doofus. I need to get some better armor ASAP. Because having this fucking leather fucking panties is very... It's not, not, not exactly the hero of myth sort of look. Although, I wouldn't say it's not on brand for Ozios. But... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the Mercedes quest. We're gonna save now. We're not gonna save manually until we finish that quest, and then we're gonna see if we can still save Kina. I imagine we still can, but there's no guarantee. This game is finicky and it doesn't tell you when things are about to expire. That another thing that I hope that um Dragon's Dogma 2 eventually rectifies is the shit the fact that it doesn't fucking tell you anything. Eventually, I think for Ozios, I'm either gonna go assassin or warrior. No, oh, hello. Hey, dipshits. Are you an evil? No, you're a pawn. Oh damn, I got cut. They are left exposed after a grand strike. It's such a fun move. Literally just for fun. Oh, my bad. I love this. I've learned a new way to fight. I've learned a new way I would hope so. Strength in numbers, Arisen. We have triumph. Strength in numbers. 
I think the one thing that I want to see involving um, the next game is definitely a way to uh, keep your shit in a more guaranteed area. Like, I, I, you know what? Fuck it. I'll say it. And it may not be original as hell, but honestly, I don't care. I want a house. Give me a house. Like Skyrim type shit where I can buy it after I've proven my usefulness and shit like that. I think that would be a nice addition. If I have a house, if I had a house in the game, then you can give me like trophies and stuff to display over my house. Or hell, even like a base camp or something. Something that you could at least make our own. Mercedes. I trust you rested well given the hour. The our reason arose late this day, eh? We make for the capital, men. Like as not, the cart will draw beasts along the way. Stay vigilant, yeah. but fear not. We walk with the arisen, slayer of hydras. Yeah, that's what I want to be known for. A slayer of multi-headed snakes. And nothing else. Alright, let's rock. I gained quest knowledge. Watch both this path is a nest for it's every man of foul beasts. No man can say from the uh, strike. Fuck out of here. Be gone, you harlot. On solid ground, the advantage is ours. Flames caress. Did it. What's weird is that we have. There was supposed to be like a whole platoon of people. There's only like three people in the cart. What happened to everyone else? Were there more than only those three people? Or... Hey, come on down. I. Whiskin. A curative will serve. I would imagine so. I wanted to be the one who. Would... I have a shield, my guy. Come on. I missed. There we go. I think that's it. This looks interesting. I say it's an ambush. Ready yourself. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah. There's more. I can barely see. Him. The sun is in sight. We are oh, nearly yeah. there, men. Now march. Keep an eye turned to the shadows. Yeah. It's almost night. Damn. Look at that, Grand Soren, right there. Hi, y'all. We're just waiting for the escort to actually get here. There we go. We've arrived. Well done, men. A Hydra's head is a fine prize. A fine His prize. grace will be pleased with the cause work. Walk proud through these streets, men. We are heroes to the people of Grand Sorin. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a little cutscene. Or not. Good. Rest up, men. This We rest in, hell yeah. I'll make for the castle directly to offer my report to his grace. I'll have words sent for you, friend. Pray, sojourn in the capital a while. Thank you, Mercedes. To the castle, men! Step lively! And then fucking this guy out here with the... With that damn smile. Ah, fortune smiles upon me. Well met, sir, at his end. Hello. I am called Mason, if it please you. Now you're come to the capital a conquering hero, you'll be needing aught to do, eh? Yeah. My word to you, begin with the pawns. Inquire about them here in Grand Sorin. Their kinds woven tight into the fate of the Arisen. If you know your destiny, know them. I feel more familiar with oh, the quest now. See, it's been distributed to you. Your main pawn and item storage. I don't know what I got, if I even got anything. Alright, so Lost and Found is still available. And now we know that doing the quest here will not get rid of it. Let me go and do a few things. 
and see how far I can go before, you know, maybe I'll look up a guide. Because as much as I want to keep it, you know, true all natural and let it come as it may, I know damn well that, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know what to do half the time. Or, even though I've played this game like three to four times, I still have no clue about when certain quests just end. Let me buy... fucking, I don't know. These really shouldn't even be any amount of weight. Just because it's kind of insulting that your fast travel item is a disperse... is a disposable... Consumable. It's a consumable. I personally am not a fan of it. This is the one thing about the game that I do not like, is that it's just... Why? Why have your only way that I can fast travel be a consumable? It is by far the fastest and safest method to travel, but each stone disappears after a single use. Yes, which is why they made the Eternal Fairy Stone. And here we are. Beats walking, that's for damn sure. I do like the idea that you have to go to the place in order to potentially get a waypoint for it. But, at the same time, the Alright, is the lady still here? Please tell me she's still here. I don't want to miss out. Cool, so I may have missed out on that. That's fucking annoying. She was fucking asleep! I couldn't... Oh. Okay, well... Cool. Because I do want to do requests. It is, unfortunately, an escort quest, but most things that are not... Cool. Fuck. Is there no way to... Oh, there's no way to... It's fucking God damn it. Oh, there's no way to go back. It goes by autosaves. Oh, that sucks so hard. That's so fucking bad. You know what? I'll fucking say it. I really fucking wish that it's it's saving now. Here's the thing. Yes, it is nice that there's an autosave. That's great. I'm I don't have a problem with that. What I do have a problem with is the fact that it overwrites the only save file that we have. There is no way, when I push save, there is no, like, way to tell you which save, like, slot that you want it in. It's quite literally, that's it. Like, what the fuck? I wanted to do her quest because I kind of like her, but she's kind of a harlot. But at the same time, I kind of like her. This is a place quite restful to my but, I was like, okay, she's sleeping. My dumbass didn't think to just sleep myself. So, now it's just like, fuck. That pisses me off immensely. There, and now this is what I was just saying. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. There's no way to, like, legitimately have a way to say there are things that are going to be on a timer. I get that the world continues on with or without you, and I understand that. But that's so ass that you don't even get, like, a little, like, hey, if you proceed through this quest, there are a certain amount of quests that are going to not be available or are going to fail if you go past a certain point. Like, why is that not a thing? And another thing that I just fucking dearly hope the Dragon's Dogma 2 has, and, you know, the people who may end up saying when I'm playing this, oh, he's just a fanboy, I, I, have, qual I have qualms. Mainly that shit. A lot of unspoken systems within this game are taking place and you have no fucking clue what they are about unless you read up or you ha and you have prior knowledge to them. If you don't, you're fucking shit out of luck. That's the worst fucking part. Because now, fucking Madeline's quest is gone. She was here and now she's not. And there was no way for me to tell that the quest was going to leave. No indication, no nothing. I suspected that that was the case, but I thought, oh, okay, I can just reload my save. No, you fucking can't. Because of course you can't. Why would you? Right? Why the fuck would you even bother with such a... What the fuck? 
why would why would you bother with such bullshit with such ways of thinking because god forbid you know you want to go back to a certain point holy fuck i hate everything about the save files in this game if you fuck up and the game over writes your own manual save with an autosave you're fucked if there was at least a separate save file that was automatic for the auto saves oh this is that dude then at least that would be whatever and then have a separate one for the manual saves and then when you say you want to load a save be like do you want to save it do you want to load it from like manual or automatic save because every fucking game does that every game does that but yet this one doesn't what's the like literally what's the fucking uh that sucks. Yeah, I'm- I'm- I- after doing this, after this whole bullshit, shut the f- I'm gonna throw you off the ledge. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking cry- I'm gonna- I'm gonna krill issue myself. Who the fuck are you? I don't care. Who is this chick? With the dragon coming all, it's become dangerous around these parts. Still, the woods outside the village should be safe. I'll go fetch another bundle of herbs. Why do you speak so quickly? But like, seriously, what the fuck? Feeling all right? No. Like, fuck, bro. I'm definitely gonna need a guide now, because... How the fuck would I have supposed to know that? Legitimately, how was I supposed to know that? Even though, yes, I've played this game a lot, there are still lots of things that I haven't done within this game. <sighs> this is just... This is just fucking. Uh, that sucks. That sucks. I'll say it. That just fucking sucks. That needs to be changed in Dragon's Dogma 2. Fucking full, full send, full guarantee. It needs to be changed. But anyways, that's fucking mad. I guess. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Deuces.